Okay. And now it's fall. So interesting turn of events. Jackson County. Means we're close to Jackson City, right? Show me more than a few miles. You ready to oh, see hey, you look, brother? new clothes. I'm just ready to get there. You nervous? I don't know what I'm feeling. New clothes. Where the hell would they have found these duds anyway? Oh, but anyway, after Sam turning into infected and Henry shooting himself because of that. Oh, what the fuck? You serious? I mean, sure, I guess. Scope is nice. Just follow the river. It'll lead us straight to Tommy's. Well, what? Wait, what do we do about this? Or do we not? Do we go around? No. No. This seems like a way down. What happened between you two? What do you mean? We just had a bit of a disagreement, that's all. Tommy saw the world one way, I saw it the other. Yeah, your friend Marlene promised him hope. That kept him busy for a while, but just like Tommy, he eventually quit that too. How was it? Last time you saw I believe his last words to me were, I don't ever want to see your goddamn face again. <laughs> Help us? I suppose we're gonna find out. Well, help? Right. we'll get there. Let's just keep going. <clears throat> okay. Interesting relationship that brothers would have. Um, Ellie. There you are. Wait a minute, do I have- no, I don't have enough for another health pack. I mean, I hardly need it, but still. It'd be nice. Right there's a hydroelectric power plant. It, uh, it uses the river's movement and uh, turns it into electricity. Come on, I understand that. Look, I know what it is, I don't know how it does it. Alright. How are we getting Oh, across? damn it. Shiv! There you go. This place has bullets. Hmm. A lot of stuff, actually. Yay! Let's craft a shiv. Or two. You know, it helps. It's supplements. Have I gotten any new supplements? No, I don't think I have. Well, I probably got like ten. Somewhere. That's not nearly enough. Anyway, turn the thing, my bobber. I suppose we're releasing the water. Um, you want to boost jump that? No? Oh, well, I guess we could go over there. Alright. Come on, th this should- Okay, well, maybe not at this point. Never mind. I was about to make a point that Ellie could probably just walk across. Come on, why can't- this is the good. This is a good way to get up there. Come on, 
stupid predetermined walkways. Makes no sense that we can't do that. Oh. Oh, there's something over here. Alright, serving the area. Guess we are gonna have to go here. I'll find something. Just hang tight. Hmm. Well, at least we can swim against the current. Now, where the hell is a raft we can use up? Invisible wall? Invisible wall. Guess, I guess you can only go against the current so much. Now I want to check in there. Oh. Interesting. And there's the invisible border again. Oh well. Hey look. Something we could probably use as a raft. Let's surface first. Before we try and excavate this. Away we go! Here we are. Smart me is smart. You'd think that this thing would just, like... Come on, get on. Can't we teach her how to swim? Seriously. I mean, I'm I'm thinking it doesn't take that long, especially when you're freaking 14. Seriously, I knew how to swim when I was five. But when you think about it, you haven't known how to swim for as long as you think you have. I will. Oh crap! <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, teamwork. Let's check what's over here. There's definitely something over here. Let's see materials. A doll? That's too small, great. I've got to leave that stupid robot on his grave. What should I do with it? Um, what? I want to talk about it. No. Why not? How many times do we need to go over this? Things happen, and we move on. It's just... That's enough. You're right. I'm sorry. Let's get to Tommy's. <laughs> Okay. Well, we didn't see this thing for too long. Oh man, that looks like it's an interesting place to explore. Oh, I'm so hungry. I know, I am too. Alright, next twirl I see, I'm totally shooting it. Let's 
get past this place, <laughs> then we can scrounge up some food. Well, if I starve, you're responsible. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's over here? Oh. Well, it's the fucking point. And you'd question Ellie's, like, sanity when she's like, I'm totally shooting the next squirrel we see. You have to think about the situation they're in. They probably go the whole day without eating. Ain't no way around. Gonna have to cut through the plant. So yeah. Now the general that that being like the general consumer it, of like this type of game, because I'm pretty sure the game's still sixty bucks when you buy it in a normal place. Like, of course, I got my copy for about 30 bucks, but, eh, Amazon deals. But, yeah, the general consumer wouldn't have to deal with that type of scenario, where they're only eating, like, once every 12 hours. So it becomes a bit hard to sympathize, but, you know, you have to understand. Please understand. <laughs> Hey, Iwata. Oh, hey. Supplements. In the form of a potted plant. Okay, which way are we going? Oh. Oh, are we actually going to get to explore it? Don't even think about reaching for your weapon. Tell the girl to drop hers now. Ellie? Do as the lady says. Hey. Please tell me you're lost. Oh, we didn't know the place was occupied. We're just trying to make our way through. Through to where? They're all right. But you know these people? I know him. He's my goddamn brother. Tommy. Holy shit. <laughs> How you doing, baby brother? Goddamn. Let me look at you. You're fucking old. Easy. Won't happen to you, too. This is Maria. Be nice to her. She sort of runs things around here. Ma'am, thanks for not blowing my head off. Would have been embarrassing, considering you're my brother-in-law. How the fuck do you get married in this at some point. world? <laughs> Ellie, right? Yeah. What brings you through here? Uh... That's kind of a long story. Why don't we bring him inside? Yeah. You hungry? I'm starving. Okay, we lose some friends, we gain new friends. We've been dealing with raids, a lot of bandits in this area. It's been quiet for a few days. What the hell are you doing here? I thought I'd find you in Jackson. Been trying to bring the plant back to life. We had it working before, but one of the turbines went south. We have electricity, Joel. I had. We'll get her running again. No way. You guys have horses. We got a whole lot of them. Hey, Tommy, give me a hand with this. Sorry, I'll be right back. Can Are I they using a wrench? You like seeing each other's ears. You ever ride one? I actually have. When have you ridden a horse? Uh, Winston, this soldier back in the zone, he gave me lessons. You know, if you want, we can take him riding later. That'd be awesome. We can pet the horse. Hey. Ah. Thanks, Tommy. <laughs> no sweat. All right, let's continue the tour. <laughs> I pet the horse. Earl? Yeah? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to head back this morning? Still waiting on Hauser and the rest of the boys to relieve me. Oh, no. you know, we'll be fine. Just go home to your family. It's just a couple more hours. I'll tough it out. All right, look, take it easy.
Okay, what? Are they infected in there? Why are you so hesitant to open the door? Maria. Yeah, go ahead. We're in the control room. Steve's about to start it back up. You want to come check it out? <sighs> I'd rather eat with Ellie. It's my turn anyway. I'll go. I'll come with you. Go with Maria. It's including. Joel? Come on, Ellie. Let's give the boys some space. I'm sending Tommy over. Stand by. This will be the sixth time of them trying to get the turbines back online. We've been here just a week, and it feels like forever. Uh, I got something for you. Last year, huh? I went back to Texas, back home. Most of our stuff is long gone. Most of it. It's a little faded, but it still looks pretty good. I'm good. You sure? I mean... I said I'm good. Okay. Well, just explain your philosophy. Well, I'll hold on to it. Goddamn. Tell me, I... I need to talk to you. Privately. Yeah. Okay. Let me just check on my guys real quick. Come on. So meanwhile, before we get into character development, let's watch these guys fail. Hopefully this isn't another Chernobyl. Hey, 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 I want to check this out. Sweet. Oh, more supplements. I've been finding these rather easily these day the well, these days. This session. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, this will be useful. I know I'm just like picking the first thing that becomes available, which probably isn't the best thing to do. But every type of power is useful. Well, power, but yeah. Over 20 families strong now. It was Maria and her father. They set up this place with the idea of being self-sustained. We got crops and livestock. Remember how we thought no one could live like this anymore? We're doing it. What do you do for protection? The adults take turns guarding the perimeter. We even got an electrified fence when we plant them. Have you still got Ooh, a bottle. Though, right? Who doesn't? But it's the world we live in. <laughs> Joel's like drinking a beer while they're <laughs> like going. Hey, what the buddy? fuck? That's Buckley. Not much of a guard dog. That's a good boy. But he's good to have around. I guess that's the only point of dogs these days. For guard dogs. Cause oh, human supremacy. Bring this plant back to life. And I'm gonna take your stuff. <laughs> you More promise? supplements. I didn't say that. I'll bet you a million bucks it works. Sure. Make it two. Uh, hey. Hmm. Uh. Oh man, we can't you get another one. Hey. Well. Why not? Let's upgrade the reload speed. And then upgrade the armor piercing. Hmm. Then reload speed. Let's upgrade the spread here. And hmm. Let's go with the draw speed. Oh, I can upgrade the range. Let's do that. To the left. Watch it. 
Nice okay, turbines. Lower it. Slowly. A brick. You suck. <laughs> Ah, sweet. Nice work, boys. Now hopefully this thing doesn't blow up. You see that? It's pretty impressive. Looks like you're out two million bucks. <laughs> All right, Joe. Let's go talk. Oh. I can look at this thing up close. I'm wondering if there's any comics in here. These, like, wor electrical workers seem to be the type that would have, like, a spare comic or two lying around. Oh. Oh, but this one's modded. I want to keep my modded one first. Oh, hey, got a firefly pendant. Okay. No comic books. Now, let's have that talk. It's quite the crew you got here. Hey, they're good men. This place gives them a second chance. Give us all a second chance. So why'd you leave Boston? I've been on quite the adventure, little brother. I reckon it's got something to do with that girl. <laughs> it's got everything to do with that little girl. Well, go on then. She's immune. Immune to what? Oh, come her, on. I know I've seen her breathe enough spores to take down a dozen men. And nothing. Now, I wouldn't have believed it neither, but I can show you. All right. I'll bite. It's funny. Why bring her here? I was supposed to deliver to the fireflies. The way I figure they're your boys. <laughs> you finish the job, you collect the whole damn thing. I haven't seen a firefly in years. But you know where they are. Now, I'm not asking for much, Tommy. I just want some simple gear, enough to set me on my way. What makes you think I'd do this for you? This isn't for me, Tommy. This is for your damn cause. My cause is my family now. You ain't talking about some walk in the park here. Jesus, boy. Have Maria get some of your born-again friends to do it. They got I... families, too. Tommy, I need this. You want some gear? Sure. But I ain't taking that girl off your hands. This is how you gonna repay me, huh? Repay you? For all those goddamn years I took care of us. Took care? That's what you call it? I got nothing but nightmares from those years. You survived because of me! It wasn't worth it. I bring you the cure from mankind, and you wanna play the pissy little brother? We ain't back in Boston. You lay your hands on me again, it won't end well for you. The hell is that? We're under attack. You still remember how to kill, right? 